Ladies and gentlemen from the 2300 Arena here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Premier Boxing Champions now features the main event. 10 rounds in the super middleweight division. The three judges ringside are David Braslow, Dewey LaRosa, and Anthony Lundy. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds, Gary Rosato. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, wearing the great with the blue trim. His professional record, 19 wins. A dozen of those coming by way of knockout against four losses. Fighting out of Marlboro, New Jersey. Introducing Dennis, Mama's boy, Douglas. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the red with the black and gold trim. As a professional, perfect, 15 bouts, 15 victories, 14 of those coming by way of KO. Joining us from Phoenix, Arizona, please welcome David El Bandera Roca Benavides. Let me just think about it. That's your little boy there. You know, you, you took him. He wiped his nose when he was little, and you got to watch him in a dangerous place. It can be very difficult for a father. Can you imagine? Multiply that by a hundred. And you have a mother in the corner who gave birth, who carried that child for nine months, who changed their diapers, who did nothing but worry about if they were going to be okay, and now has to be in charge of putting them in a place where sometimes you're not okay. That is a difficult, different dynamic. You see that real good looking super middleweight frame of Benavidez. 19 years old, six foot two. He's created a lot of power, heavy hands, 14 knockouts, 15 and no mark. Douglas's been inactive seven months since he's left in the ring. He could have a slow start, and if he's got a slow start, could be vulnerable. You know, to getting hurt early, again, with that inactivity, a little rust that might be there. Just look at the size difference. I mean, I don't think you need me to tell you, Benavidez is a lot bigger. Probably too big, I think, at the end of the day. We'll find out. That's why they fight the fight. But I think maybe it's going to be too big and strong for Douglas. But if Venus is fought from 163 to 180 pounds, though, with seven fights at 170 pounds or more, while Douglas has fought eight times between 154 and 156, you could actually argue that this is the junior middleweight, Douglas, in there with a light heavyweight. And the guy is only getting bigger. Yeah, you can imagine where his career is going to take him with that fight. He's only 19 years old. Get He's got a couple holder. more years Double to grow. Double it up. Double it up. Shorten it up, man. Stop loading up. Here's nice and Spire, tight. His mom calling out. Punch out. Punch out. Punch out. Punch out. Punch out. Let's go. <laughs> Douglas, you know he's in there with a bigger guy with a giant. He doesn't move around a lot. You know, he'll be there looking for what gives him confidence, which is the left hand from that southpaw position. You know. We're talking about the power with Benavides. Dolphin punches good with the left hand. He can turn it into it, he can get power there. But what he's got to be careful is what we talked about in the fight plan. Sometimes he'll reach in, he reached in there. Punch out. reach in. Let him go, get the hand out. Get the arm out, punch out, punch out. Open. Get the arm out. You can leave yourself vulnerable. Bring him back, bring him back, bring him back. Punch out, get off the back of his head. Break, break. A lot of people are going to say, so far, so good for Douglas, but hasn't been hit yet, and Benavides hasn't gotten out of the driveway yet. You know, he's still revving the engines up, idling. And he gets hit with a left hand from the south ball, Douglas. Douglas tries to Ten seconds is for the bell. This is for the bell. Go to ESPN Boxing Facebook page to score along with Teddy Atlas. End of one. Time. Touchdown. Joe and Teddy calling the action ringside with you here from the 2300 bucket, 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 bucket. Arena Get the in bucket. South Philly. Round number two here is Dennis Douglas facing the unbeaten David Benavides. You got some good advice, Douglas. 
His mom didn't do all the talking. Actually, she did a little bit, but most of the talking was done by Dyke Flemings. And his advice is something that I touched on the first round. I agree with. Don't lean forward. Again, Douglas, that's something that's going to be worked out in the gym, though, quite frankly. You, you got a bad habit, you pick it up in the gym. It's got to be corrected in the gym. You can't just correct it in the corner. It has to be corrected in that gym, but warn Douglas, don't lean forward. He does have that punch habit. Punch out, punch out, get the arm out, get the arm out. And lean it forward with that left hand. When he does that, I just think there's an opening for a counterpunch. Stay low. Change right the hand levels. From ben Change Venus. the levels, Dennis. Right hands do usually work. Of course, against oh, left hands. Punch out, get that arm out. Watch the heads. Get the arm out. Punch out, get that arm out. Get that arm out. Get the hands. Watch for the come out. Watch for the come out. Punch out. Watch for the come out. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Break, break. You don't worry about the hard. All right. Come in. Douglas, when he's in there. I mean, he's in there. Stop waiting. Taking Keep your the two better beaters, maybe more than Stop I would waiting. expect him to early no, on here. No, I want him to get more angles, not be coming in that punch out. Punch out, so come on, let him go. Let him go. But punch out. The one thing you've got to worry about with Douglas, he's been knocked down three times. His chin is questionable. Punch out, keep it going. Come on, let the arms go. That's it. One of his knockout losses, Joe, to talk about the questionability of. The chin of Douglas. Off the head, off the head, off the head. Stop, stop, stop. 14, off the 17 head. Go hold him behind the head. Let's go. Well, we focus so much in Teddy on Douglas and his mom, Sophia, in that unique situation in their corner. Something we're a little more used to seeing in the corner of Benavidez Todd with dad over there. That's right, Joe. It's his dad, Daddy, Jose Benavidez Sr., the father Daddy, of David. We asked David yesterday, what's the worst thing about having your dad Work as a trainer? Out. He said, well, he makes me train all day. And I just stop. spoke to his father and asked him what he told him after round one. He said, well, we want pressure, pressure, pressure. So those extra hours in the gym, hopefully, have given him the cardio he needs for that pressure. It's one of those situations where he's been with dad day one. You know, it's one of those situations where I'm not saying in this case, but a father can overtrain a fighter because he cares too much. You know, he's not having a seeing it clearly. He, he thinks the more he pushes them, the better it'll be. Not the case. Not all the time. Ten seconds, ten seconds. No Looks spinning, like no to spinning. Me, spinning. Ten seconds, up let's spin about. a little bit. And Douglas then turns things around, but he got caught right here in the final seconds of round two. Good action. Huh. He's playing with fire. You know, he had had some good spots there being aggressive, but again, in those trenches, that's where Benavides wants you to be. He's the biggest, stronger guy. He wants to know he can find you right in front of him. That's he, where he found Douglas. And he found him with that right hand. 15-0 David Benavides. Six-inch height advantage here. That's a good left hook to open things up. Get the arm out, get the arm out, punch out, punch yeah, out. Got big Let's go, punch out, let the arm out. Get the arm out, punch. You know how young Let's kids go. are. And David, punch out, punch out. Sometimes it gets a while for them to start. get going. You know, to show their personality, to show, you know, get talking to somebody. They get involved when they meet somebody. Don't push that. Even in the ring, it shows. It takes better beaters a while to Watch your hands, Dennis, watch your hands. Come on, and I think he's starting to get going a little bit now. Right now, Benavides turn, turns south. He did turn south, ball and landed on the right your head, hands of the body. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Again, I said it early. Douglas going to pay for this idea of standing right in front of Benavides. Gets the attention of the crowd there moments ago. Now back orthodox. Douglas tries to fire him off. Most of that out. blocked. I think the other side could be there also. Besides the right hand, the straight right hand. Against the top punch out. Benavides, I think the uppercut can be there too. Keep your hands up. Up, up, up. Coming straight at you. You know, you can do a George Foreman on it. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Punch out. George Foreman treated let him go. Off the head, off the head, Dennis. Break, break. Off, off the back of the uppercut. head. Use that jab. Remember that jump? Oh, yeah. Kingston, Jamaica. Lifting him off the ring time and time again. Let him go. Let hold him, hold him. For me, there's a. There is a place for that uppercut. I can see it for Benavides. 
Punch out, off the rope, get the arm out, Dennis, get the arm out. He's right now. miles away from where Smoke and Joe used to apply his Watch your head, you Dennis, watch your head. Let's go, punch out. Days, Teddy Let's go. Frazier's gym. No, he's never, never Come on. can say that punch I was out. in his gym back in the off the head. heyday of Joe Frazier. But I've been in Philadelphia gyms later on. Off the head. That's it. To me, this fight's changing. Benavides, again, I thought that he'd be too big, too strong. Right now, he's too so big, too strong. He's getting his engine going, and it doesn't, for me, doesn't look good for Dublin. Again, Dublin, right in front of him. Off the head, Dennis. Wow, he and he's in the wrong go, place work out, work with out, this work guy. Out. Break, break. I think it's gonna, this is Ten we're going to watch for about. I think it's going to be rain clouds for Dublin. He's that jab, he's that jab. Ah. PBC on ESPN presented by Corona Extra. Now our main event could be heading in the direction that Teddy felt it was. As he said, watch out for this sensational, exciting, slugging the teenager, David Benavides. Is he on the verge of stamping himself as one of the most exciting prospects to watch? You look at the CompuBox numbers, the power punches in the last round. He landed 28 of them, came on strong in the final minute. I gotta be honest, when I was handicapping this fight early, I was thinking four rounds. You know, and I know I put myself in a by that hardest, I put myself in a tough decision here because we're in a fourth round and probably doesn't look as likely that he's gonna knock out, but I was thinking four rounds, five rounds when I initially looked at this fight and I'll go back to those punch numbers. For me, if you look at them, you don't want to see power punches in on the side of Douglas. That's bad. Push, push. No, you don't want him fighting that kind of fight. Exactly. Like to his opponent's nice. hands. Exactly, punch Joe. Punch I mean, punch power out. punches obviously punch from the bigger guy better be here, but not from Douglas. You want to see jabs. Right and back course, on his jab. Don't let him walk in. You don't see this with the punch numbers, but you want to see yeah. movement. Head, you want to see angles. You know who agrees with you? Down, down, that lady down, down there in the box, Sophia, his mom, who said to him, before this round, where's my boxer? Where's my boxer? Well, hopefully they have a big guy in front of them in the gym for sparring. And every day, they worked on the Watch discipline of boxing. Right now, I see a lot of falling in. Bad habit by Duncan. We saw that on the tape. I saw it on the tape. Talked about it in the fight plan. He falls in. Watch. He'll fall in. And when he Watch does that, he falls in with that left Let hand. Let the arm There's an opportunity for Benavides, I think, to time him with a right hand, either a straight right or a right uppercut. Don't push, Dad. Because when you're falling in like that, you're just watch. Let him off the head. Break, when I got you. Step back. Grab, Step back. There's a, probably about a foot space where you're leaving yourself really open. There's a left hand from the South Pole, Douglas, in the midst of that exchange. Benavidez, unaffected, came with a right of his own. Now, work on the inside. That's it, that's it, that's it. Don't push, don't push. So you can see a little reach in there from Douglas. Again, when he throws that left hand, and that's his Sunday punch. Let him go, get the arm out. Dennis, get the arm out, punch out. Punch out, let him go. A little bit punch out, ball. that's it. Right hand to the body from Don't Benavides. Push. Just pulling him against the ropes Ten here. seconds, let's put him out. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Trying to work free is Duggan. And I'm then Rosado has about. to clean them up. Hi. As Dennis Duggan has a lot water. to deal with really water. here tonight against the undefeated David Benavides. The water, 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 right here. Come on, let go, let go, let the arm go. You're hooking, hooking. Get up. Break! I got you. Right now, the defensive plan, it's not to use the legs for Douglas, which I think it should be. It's to come forward, hope that he gets in quick enough without getting caught, and then smother the bigger Benavides. He's been doing a lot of that. 
There he goes again. Smothering. Watch your head. Better beat it. This is where you make an adjustment in the corner. If you have good corner men. This is where wow. I think the farther better beat it needs to say, okay, be smothering you like that. Your head. Take a half step back, Joe. Create room where he can't smother you and you can get your shot off and you can make him pay. Somehow the Facebook viewers at home are favoring the Douglas so far. Teddy has it the opposite way. As I would think any ringside observer would see it. Although the coffee box numbers, I can understand why you would think that would show something for Douglas. Although to Teddy's point, the opposite kind of fight you would want to see out of Douglas. You want a little more boxing. Punch out, punch out, punch out. Off the back of his head. I'm not punch out, get the arm out of there. It's up. not really punch about up. what That's Douglas is doing. That's keeping him in this fight right now. It's about what Benavides punch is out. not doing. Don't, don't spin him, don't spin him. Punch out, get the arm out of there. He's not, not what I've seen on tape. He's not busy. Now, a lot of people might say, Teddy, maybe that's got something to do with Douglas. Okay, but not okay. Because Douglas is still in front of him. Where Benavides, it's not like he's boxing circles around him, keeping him more balanced. Stop. I got you. I got he's you. there. Benavides is just not letting those hands go. And he's losing this round. A punch me on the head. See how the ropes he can't take that half step back. So this is where Bogan could smother him a little bit. But if Benavides can take that half step back as Dublin falls in. Well, he's got a clean get the arm out there. shot there with either the straight right hand or the uppercut. Right now, he's turning to South Pole, better be there. Get the arm out, get the arm No jabs from either fight. See, there's that uppercut. I think it's there again. From the South Pole stance. Yeah, either, either one. Just catch the smaller man as he's come in like that. The uppercut is there all night. It's not a matter of, ten seconds, ten it's just seconds, not seconds. a matter of being there, it's a matter of how you're moving your hands, how you're throwing. Reminder, still a lot to come. This August from PVC on various networks, including our fight with the unbeated Flores, and then Errol Spence, he's been somebody to watch the past couple of years. He'll be on NBC August 21st. Right now we've got a fine looking prospect to watch. We'd just like to see perhaps a little more of what Benavidez can offer up Teddy. Well watch here, I've been talking about Douglas reaching in, falling in with that left hand. He fell in right there, wide open for a second. But no action from Benavides. He's missing the boat. Todd's in the corner of Benavides. Hey, Joe. Benavides' father, Jose, just told me they want his son to go for the kill. It felt like Douglas was hurt at the end of that last round, and Benavides let him off the hook. They said when you get him hurt, go in there and put him away. I think he did get you on the bit at the end of that fifth round. You know what I would have said to him, the only adjustment I would have made, I mean, that's obvious, yeah, he had him a little bit stunned there at the end, but start earlier. I mean, he started with 15 out, seconds left in the round. You know, it's punch not out, a matter of letting him off the hook, punch it's out. a matter of the clock Let him go, out. let him go, punch out. If you, for me, the father's so, got to say, out. you see what you did at the end there? Do it again, punch but out, start punch it out, earlier. Punch out, punch out, Give yourself room and time go, punch out. to get the job done. Keep it going. Let him go, Dennis, let him go, See, get again, the arm out. The Behind defense the for Douglas is to smother on the inside with the bigger guy. You take a little step back, if you're better beat us, and he's not smothering, he's vulnerable. Like that, that was a nice shot to the body by Benavides, that uppercut to the body, that hurt. Douglas, Douglas is a little bit hurt from that body shot. Backed up against the ropes, oh, Benavides. Gets a warning for pushing punch there. Up. Tried to place an uppercut right there, and he does with success. Wraps around that elbow with the left hand to the body as well. Now, if he wants to keep it going now, Benavides, he's got a minute and 10 seconds Off his left. Hand. Now punch it's about out. not just moving his hands, moving his feet, not falling in. That's it, keeping enough distance where you can keep those hands moving, and then move your feet back when you have to so you don't get smothered like he's doing right now. Keep it going like he's doing right now. Keep it going. Keep the flow. 
Body shot, oh, right hand up top. Body shot is really Douglas clearly yeah. impacted here. Bad shape, bad shape. Mount P just went out of Douglas. Punch back, punch back, punch back. And again, it's all about, I know it's about the hands. And all, but it's about the feet. If Brendan Feeney yeah. moves those feet, he can keep the offense going. He won't get smothered. Let's go. Well, you put think it the corner's going to take time here, yeah, right? It's going to take your sweet time. Let him recover. No, 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 no. it's not true. You got it. Time in. Good go. job by the ref. Now let him do that. Let's go. Let him go. Let him go. Get the arm Damage up. done here in round six by the undefeated David Benavides. A lot of hard shown by Doug. No doubt Jim. taking steps forward. He was hurt oh. 20 seconds ago. Let's go. Let's go, know, Dennis. Maybe he saved himself. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. By letting that come out and he got that little bit of rest. Young slugger though on the attack. Headshot after headshot. Oh, that was after the middle right there. there. As Rosado gets his hands on him. And you saw that hard right hand coming afterwards as David Benavidez is taking full control here as we start round number seven. It's the game, Dennis Douglas, Teddy. Glad there was nothing devastating done there, you know, nothing to change the course of this fight with that punch could have been. But that's where the referee has to be, has to know at all oh, times oh, 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 what's going on. Out. How much time's Freak. left in the round. He's got to position himself real close when there's a spot like that. Where he's ready to stop the fighter as soon as that bell. He's got to be right there. I mean, it's hard to criticize anyone, but that's where the good refs separate themselves from the great refs. Not a bad job by the ref, but again, that's the job that really counts. Be there in that kind of position to stop the punching at the right time. And Gary Rosado is a veteran guy who's done a good job through the years with a commissioner get the arm who watches get the arm everything get the arm closely punch and Greg Sir. Step back, no punch him. No, he's good. And again, you can't count on the fighter. The fighter's in the middle of strong off punches. He's not even necessarily get the arm off. Get the arm that belt. He's throwing it's up to referee to be the one who's going to stop it in that spot. And I'm going to give him credit in that spot. Watch your head. Get the arm out, Dennis. Get the arm out. A lot of guys that are in the tough fight and maybe it's starting to go the other way against them. A lot of guys would have played that, Joe. They would have right. played that. They would have went down and maybe believe they were hurt and, and tried to get the sympathy of the referee. Maybe to just oh, follow. The ropes just came loose. Wow. The Over support there. of the top rope with Time the out. weight of Benavidez Over just there. gave way. That's going to be a delay here. Time. And you know That's going to help Douglas. Yeah, it's going to help Douglas. It's going to maybe a dynamic. And, you know, one of those intangibles that changes the course of the fight. Teddy, if you look over at Benavidez's corner there, the blue corner, the entire turnbuckle support came off. Stay there. Yeah, again, changes the course What's of this the fight, time? potentially. What, what, what left? So the ring support, I'm you see the time. buckle being reattached there. When Benavidez comes and leans against the ropes on the far side. Watch what happens. Again, Douglas smothering. That did not take a lot of pressure no, not to have all. that come loose. Thank God he didn't fall all the way out. But yeah. You said it right, Joe. The turnbuckle, the top turnbuckle just came loose. And you know, already here we are. I mean, we should get a clock going. Maybe in the truck they get a clock going. So we can see at the end of the day how much time has expired here and how much of a delay in the fight actually takes place. So the commissioner, Greg Serb, you see him getting his eye on this, wanting to know that it's secure. Now typically what happens prior to a fight is the referee will go to all four sides of the ropes and make sure that they are well supported and in condition to have a safe fight. I'll tell you what. They are trying to speed up this process as quickly as they can so that it doesn't give a competitive advantage to one fighter or the other. In this case, a slight advantage for Dennis Duglin, who was damaged in the sixth round. Yeah, and again, these things you can't control, or maybe you can. If you check the ropes before the fight, maybe you can control. Maybe I shouldn't say that. But once they happen, they happen. 
and they can change the outcome, alter the outcome, influence the outcome of a fight. Because again, you said it well. Douglas was damaged the last round, and here he is. He needed a reprieve, and he's getting one. Teddy, what I will note, and we often say that in all the years we've broadcast, when we do see loose ropes, when you got see a guy leaning against the ropes, we will often note that. These were not loose ropes. These ropes Ready. were, were taut, Ready. they were fair, Ready. and then all of a sudden it just gave way as if the buckle was on its last threat. Yes, but two and a half minutes, the truck does a good job on a clock run, a two and a half minute delay there, so you can see that it helped. Dublin because he is uh, rejuvenated a little bit. I don't know if it's going to help him fight this way right in front of the bigger man, but he's feeling a lot better than he did two and a half minutes ago. Let the hands go, let the hands go. You know, the analogy I use in another sport, Joe, is a rain delay in baseball. Right. You know, there's a rain delay. Punch out, punch out. It alters punch out. the performance Three. of the pitcher. No and right now, the pitcher is better beat us. And a little bit of cold, a little bit of waiting has slowed him down. Watch the ropes, watch the ropes. You see the concern now with Gary Rosado as Gary is putting the watch referee is putting head. his weight onto the top rope and pulling it back hey, when they've been in these situations down. since the delay. Yeah, good job by the referee thinking that way. Let's go, punch out let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I wonder if Douglas let's stole the round for himself. I'll tell you, that last minute from Douglas has been one of his better performances. Here we go. Pick it up. Water. See the referee right there doing what you talked about, Joe. Pulling back on that rope, trying to save the rope from collapsing. And a moment ago, you saw the shot in the corner. <laughs> you saw the, the wrench, the clip. The pliers, no, whatever no, no, that is. Todd Grisham's right over there. Todd, what's the going on in that corner? Hey, I'm from Alabama, Joe. All we need is a little duct tape and chicken wire. <laughs> and we can sew this thing up. But they do have a pair of pliers clamped on there. They hope that that hook doesn't slide to a part of the ring, a part of the ring that's holding the ropes up. There's a little gap there. So we're hoping that clamp can keep the hook on the ring. That's a lot of hope there, kid. Teddy, in all the years, all the thousands of fights we've broadcast, I thought I've seen everything, but I've never seen a fight where the top rope is being held together with that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to depend on it. And let's see what happens if the fighters do go against the ropes. We saw Gary Rosado try to pull on the rope just to secure it even more when we had that scenario. You know, now the people at home, people in this sport go, go. could appreciate even Punch more. Let him go, let him go. Although the Freak, I got appreciated the great late Angelo Dundee, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. You know, Watch many times when he would get in that ring before a fight with Ali or whether he knew Ali would use the rope, he would always lean against him. Not just push him a little bit like you talked about, but lean against him hard to make Watch sure they were going to support the weight of his fighter. Of course, the signature moment of Ali's career dealt with that. That right uppercut a moment ago got the attention of Douglas. That right uppercut by Benavides, he should go to it more. It is coming in with the jab and then going to the left hand to the body. Dublin a little more secure on his feet compared to what he looked like in the sixth round. Just ate that uppercut again and now Benavidez tries to get around to the body as he backs up Dublin. For me, no. Joe, at this point, Benavidez, if I'm in the corner, I'm going to tell him two I selections of punches, nothing else. Body and uppercuts. Body and uppercuts. Maybe the jab on the way in to get you in there. And then go to the body and uppercuts. That's all you need right now for me against Douglas. Douglas starting to lean a little bit. And when a guy starts leaning, that uppercut can find him. You know, we're talking about the chin, the beard go, 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 of Dennis, Douglas been knocked out three times. I'm a little surprised. Maybe a little bit that the commission allowed him, or, or the corner didn't go, complain. The corner benefited of Douglas having that big beard. In the old days, they would never allow a beard like that because the thought would be that it could cushion the blow a little bit, give him an advantage. You can see them still working on that top row in the ten, midst ten, of this eighth round. The That's how concerned the commission is. We'll punch is. after the bell. They're trying to make sure 
competitively, they stay the course here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You see that beard? I mean, that's not a small beard. No. I mean, that's, that's a, look at that. And it's filled I mean, with three grease, inches. too. That's two three inches. Right a lot there. of commissions will have a guy shave down I'm, a beard. Again, like I'm, I'm surprised that they allowed that, and I'm really surprised the corner of better beaters weren't on their P's and Q's and said, hey, Don't shave let that them beard. Take it. Because that is a cushion. I'm not saying that's the reason <laughs> Douglas is still here. His heart is the reason why he's still here. And maybe that little delay, that two and a half minute delay, didn't hurt him. That helped Watch him. Watch out, let him go. But that could you go, let him beard. go, Dennis. Let the arm out. Let the arm Again, out, let the arm out, let the arm out. Years ago, that would not have been allowed. It's interesting to hear the messaging to Douglas. Let the arm out, Dennis, get the arm out. That's Fleming saying, you can bully him, you can bully him. And then mom, Three. Sophia, was saying, but smartly, but safely. Let's look at the scorecards. We'll start with Teddy's scorecard. 77-75 for the undefeated 19-year-old David Benavidez dominating six round that you see showing up for the viewers at home on Facebook who have favored Douglas since the early breaks the back. Dennis, watch your head. Go, go. Benavidez, get that arm out of here. Get that arm. Punch out. Let's go. Punch out. Punch out. I mean, give credit to Douglin. Punch out. Punch it out. He got away with smothering, with maybe even in some spots standing in trenches too much. Punch. Oh, punch. I got it. But he's gotten away with it for the most part. And but go. it's not over. There's an uppercut. And a hook that comes in as Come well on, Dennis, from Benavidez. Still sit and think. There's an opportunity. Oh, Douglin needs another uppercut, yeah, There's an opportunity for a knockout Three. here. For Benavides, that he might need the knockout. I don't mean because of the scorecards, but I mean because of his reputation. If he wants to be thought of as a top, top prospect to watch. Good right watch hand out. as well watch as a out. body shot. Benavides looking sharp here in round nine. See, this is what I'm talking watch about out. for the last round, Joe. Body and uppercuts, that's all he needs. But the situation with the ropes now not doing Douglin a favor as Gary Rosado has to pull it forward. He's pulling Douglin right into the fire of Benavidez. Right hand got around that guard from Benavidez. Douglin is game though as he continues to come forward, possibly being drawn into something. But nothing in return from Benavidez. Let's go, get the arm out. Let's get the arm out. Let's go, get the arm out. Let's go, get the guy to be here this late. As Douglin continues to work a bit, got peppered there upstairs and now holds on with that right hand. Benavides is in uncharted territory. First time he's ever been past seven rounds. Douglas. Oh, knockdown scored by David Benavides. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You ready to go? Come here. Hands up. You ready to go? I'm gonna let you go. I'll give you a shot. Let's go. Final seconds of round number nine, and the 19-year-old power puncher takes down Douglin. You don't think you get a knockout unless you walk away now? No, no. Well, go for it. Come on, Bennett. Go for it. Come on. Here's the knockdown in the end of the night. We talked about the uppercut was there. Well, there was a lot of uppercuts there. Come in, touch gloves. Stay there. First one, left uppercut. Come in. Touch gloves. That one doesn't land, but there was a few the of them before up. that one. That was the final one that put him down. But I'm talking about body shot comes uppercut. in. Another uppercut, Teddy, to start this tenth round. That's what he needs, Joe, for the last five rounds. He may finish the right hand side. But now it's going to come to spacing. Having enough space to get those punches off before Douglas smothers him. And that means right here, moving the feet a little bit. Not getting too close if you better beat us. And doing that. That's it. That's it. Fight over. TKO victory. David Benavides. Right. Yeah, that's just a compassionate chair. stoppage. Come on, come on. And a top of stoppage by the referee. And a man keeping his word. He told him in the corner after the last round, you get hurt. I'm stopping it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee in charge, Gary Rosato waves off the bat at 35 seconds of the 10th round for your winner by technical knockout and remaining perfect, David El Bandera Roca Benavides.
young man who made his debut at just 16 years old in Mexico, now 19 years old and everything ahead of him.